Good morning, guys, and I'm leaving the city of Bergen, taking the X90 back to Trondheim for a week of work. It's going to be about a 10 hour drive through some incredible and insane landscapes. So, Google Maps wants to take me through a new route that I've never driven before, so I'm really excited to see the insane nature and landscape from here to Trondheim. So, guys, hope you enjoy the video. local Volvo dealer delivering back the S60 so it's gonna be a little bit sad driving the whole way to Trondheim with a car with half the power and almost twice the weight but I want to give a special thanks to Friedenbe my local Volvo dealer for letting me borrow this car for a day you guys are really cool and really awesome so thanks a lot Told you to walk away. That was my first and last mistake I'm blue without your face But what can I do? Cause I'm just a sinking ship And you're just a pair of lips But I've lost in the moment Western Norway and the beautiful nature of this place. I'm about a few hours inland from Bergen and the nature here is so beautiful and so spectacular. It's just so epic. And I'm from Western Norway. I've driven on these roads a million times before. I've been here so many times, but every time I drive here, I'm equally as mind blown, equally just odd of how beautiful and spectacular the nature really is and now especially in springtime when you get the beautiful weather and the contrast of the green plains and the ice covered mountain tops is so spectacular i really hope you guys are enjoying the scenery from western norway every six kilometers to make this a safe tunnel it's about 12 kilometers that way and 12 kilometers that way I'm in the middle of the mountain but this tunnel is really cool check out this really cool lighting in these caves which give you natural daylight which wake you up because driving in a tunnel gets very tiresome and very boring very fast so this is actually to make the tunnel safer but of course much cooler aesthetically So been 
on the road for about three and a half hours now and when I left Bergen I was a bit sad because I had to deliver back that S60 Polestar. I only had it for a day but it was a really fun and a really cool car and I really wanted to take that car on a long trip like a 10 hour drive to Trondheim but I'm actually very glad that I took the XC90 because this car is so quiet and so comfortable and the big greenhouse here with the large glass windows and the panoramic sunroof means I can really enjoy the views, really suck in the scenery and really get it on camera for you guys to see. take me the alternative route which I haven't driven before but should be faster. Now on a type of secondary road but that's given me a chance to test this car in dynamic mode because this road is very twisty and quite narrow meaning you have to be precise and really test this car's dynamics and it's really interesting putting it in dynamic mode because that's a mode I very seldom use but it's actually very impressive. After driving that S60 Polestar for a day now, which is a really stiff, really composed car. This is really impressive. And don't misunderstand, this is no Polestar S60, but for being a huge and large SUV that's over two tons with seven seats and three rows, it's really, really impressive. So, dynamic mode lowers this car because this car is equipped with air suspension and also stiffens up the suspension and then it tightens up the steering weighting it really nicely so really impressive that you can actually have some fun and drive quite quickly on narrow and twisty roads like this Trondheim after a 10 hour drive. It's been a long drive and I'm quite tired now. But my god, what beautiful landscape and beautiful scenery we've seen on the way. It's been totally worth it. The weather has just been perfect and I've gotten to see a new landscape that I've never seen before. I've seen the fjords that I've seen before but it's just been totally awesome and totally amazing. But what's really also amazing is actually that this car has had a very low fuel consumption on the trip. Let me flip around the camera here. So as you can see down there, we'll see that's been 9 hours and 35 minutes of driving, not including stops, 683.9 kilometers and 6.4 liters per 100 kilometers or 37 miles to the gallon. And that's really frugal. I've never ever driven this car at that economic before and I haven't even tried it. I've just been driving it but 37 miles to the gallon is really really impressive for a large car like this. So guys, hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below and for more car content, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.